This is the last day in the Philippines, but before I go, I want to do an unboxing. Um, and <laughs> I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'm trying to get it set up like I have it set up at home, and I just don't think that that's actually going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. So at home, I have three cameras, so what I'm doing right now is I have three here. I have this camera here, I have this camera here, which is on a tripod, sitting on two chairs, leaning on a table. Then I think I'm gonna put this one here for this angle, although I'm not gonna get that top angle. I won't get that top angle that you guys usually see, which kinda sucks, but that's just how it goes. Quick fun fact, uh, when you come to the Philippines, they use 240 for the power and not 110 like we do in the States, and so you can't cut your hair, and I need a haircut really, really bad. I know that doesn't matter to you guys, but that's the truth. Uh, another thing, oh, you know what? I realized I never gave you guys a tour of the hotel room that I'm in, so let's do a quick hotel tour. This is the kitchen or kitchenette, I think is what they call it. It has sink, has a coffee maker, but also has like a stove, kinda, but then it has a washer and dryer, how crazy is that? And then they have this, which I think is a microwave, but it has maybe a heat induction oven. And then they have this super thin refrigerator uh, that I have only some Powerade in. And this is the place where the magic happens. And by magic, I mean this is where I go poo. It's the bathroom. They have double sink, very nice, very nice toilet. And then they have this really nice tub. To be honest, this tub is really nice. I didn't get to use it, but I should have because uh, I could have relaxed after a long run. Not that you guys want to see me laying in the tub. And then uh, the shower, which looks really cool. Has a nice head up there. So it's less like an apartment and I mean, less like a hotel and more like an apartment. And this is the bedroom right here. So there's a, a bed here, there's a TV, there's the closet and my luggage that I packed. Uh, probably want to get a closer look at the TV. So that's the TV, that's the closet, and then that's the bed that I actually did not sleep in at all. I ended up sleeping on the couch for most of the time while I was here, and that's what's in this room with all my junk on it. My uh, laptop bag, laptop, fruit, water, some uh, Filipino money, some dollars, Filipino money. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then all that stuff. So. So yeah, that's what uh, the hotel room looks like. Now uh, let's finish setting up this unboxing and see how that's actually going to work. Hopefully it looks dope. Just give me the light and pass the drove. Perfect. All right. All right, yeah, so let's get this unboxing on the road. Big shout out to the folks over at Titan that hooked me up with these. It's an exclusive to here in the Philippines. You can't get them anywhere else in the world. Literally, the Titan is the only store that has them here in the Philippines. So let's take a look. They actually gave me a whole bag of goodies. Uh, again, shout out to Titan. Uh, so before we get into the kicks, let's see what else we have in here. Uh, it's a couple of things. Uh, first, we have a copy of the LeVar Ball and the Ball Kids Slam magazine. Appreciate that. Uh, and then we have the new Slam, the Unbeatable. This one is from, oh, September. So this is September and, oh, they both say September. Uh, this is the Ball family one, and then this is the one about the Golden State Warriors. And then they have some Titan love for the court right there on the back. Uh, Slam Philippines. Shout out to Slam Philippines. Thank you guys for hooking me up with these. Uh, and let's also take a look at some t-shirts they hooked me up with. Uh, so Slam, I mean Titan is, so Titan is a very like basketball centric sort of sneaker store here. God, what's going on with the light right now? All right, come, calm down light. Sorry guys, got to calm down the light. Oh, light's going back up. Uh, so Titan's a very basketball centric sneaker store here and they have some really cool gear and this is one of the shirts that they gave me. Uh, so let's take a look here. I'm going to have to oh, mess this up. Totally destroy it. Goes back in. So what does this say? Titan, Titan Outdoor Hoops. Oh, I like, actually like that. That's very nice. Son, I need you to cooperate here. You're making my job difficult. I'm trying to do a video. Can't you see that? So Titan Outdoor Hoops. That's super bright white. I know. Sorry, guys. All right. That's very cool. Thank you, Titan. I like that one. And let's see the other one. This is... Let's see. So this one says, for the love of the game. And looks like it says, Titan 
there on the front. Big shout out to the shop. And then I saw some stuff on the sleeve. Uh, it says True True 22. Uh, 22, I believe, was a basketball player that they're partners with. And then they have a basketball hoop and a barbershop. It's actually a pretty cool shop. They have a barbershop inside. Uh, you don't really see that at a lot of sneaker places. So I thought that was a pretty cool concept to have a, a basketball spot. I mean, a barbershop on the inside of your sneaker store. Okay, this light is just destroying my life right now. Let's try this again. Calm down, El Sol de Philippines. Let's look at the kicks. As you can see, it's a regular Nike box. And inside, have a note. The Nike Hyper Dunk Low 2017 Manila. So these released exclusively here in Manila. Literally the only place that you can get them is at Titan. And they look pretty clean. They're very, very nice. So the shoes uh, are inspired. So there's a really famous court here called the Tenement. And that's where like whenever you see LeBron here or you see Kobe here or really any NBA athlete come here, they usually go to the tenement. And it's not in a, such a good area, but it's really like a court that kind of represents basketball here in the Philippines. I don't know if you know this, but basketball goes hand in hand with the Philippines. They actually really, really love the sport. And a lot of them are Laker fans. Shout out to the Lakers. Don't leave any hate comments there. So this is the Hyper Dunk Low. As most of you know, it has the Nike React cushioning here on the outsole. And some of the details that they did for the midsole, it's gray and it looks like cracked concrete. Obviously, a shout out to the outdoor courts at the tenement. They have some love for the Filipino flag there on the heel. And then they have a special tongue there. Let me see if they have a note here. Let's see what it says. Uh, on your purchase of the Nike Hyper Dunk Low, part of the Nike Basketball Six City Hyper Fam collection to celebrate the game, portion of the proceeds, blah, blah, blah who will support the uplift of the tenement court and the commitment to use basketball. If you'd like to make additional confirmation, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So they have obviously a gray upper. They have the same gray. They have orange, uh, which I believe is a basketball for basketball, or maybe that's the color of the Filipino. No, it's not on the Filipino flag. So I believe that's a shout out to basketball. Then they have the gray upper. And I believe this is hyper weave or it's not, uh, it's not fly knit or anything like that. So, or maybe it's just a mesh. Uh, it feels actually kind of tough, which is obviously works out here in the Philippines because they play basketball outside a lot. So having a shoe that's durable really makes a big difference. The Nike swoosh is actually stitched on. It's just a stitching outline of the Nike swoosh, and it's not like a plat, um, like a, a piece that's been glued or something like that onto the side of the shoe. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick look of the Hyper Dunk Low 2017 for the Philippines. I've been here obviously a few days and this is my last day and what a way to end with an actual unboxing of a pretty cool shoe. All right, with that being said, uh, let's uh, get out of here. I have to go to Hong Kong, so uh, let's finish packing up and head to Hong Kong. Quick update, so I am not going to be going to Hong Kong tonight because there is a typhoon in Hong Kong and so my flight was delayed from two o'clock until 11 o'clock at night. So I won't be able to vlog in Hong Kong today. So that's gonna be the end of the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a vlog from Hong Kong. Peace.